Well, Jeep was not a highly recruited player. Um, Jeep uh, was headed to Harbor Junior College, and um, we felt like he was worthy of a Division I uh, opportunity. We just thought he had too much talent, and uh, in retrospect, he did. Uh, he's still the most uh, talented guard in terms of affecting winning uh, that I've ever been a part of coaching at the college level. The thing about Jeep was his defensive intensity. There were times in games where UTEP was trailing and perhaps not playing as hard as they could or maybe as hard as Coach Haskins thought they could. And you could see Jeep turn up the intensity of his defense and suddenly another player would start playing harder and another. And he was able to lift the whole team by him playing hard. That defensive intensity rubbed off on the other players and the whole momentum of the game would switch. He was one of those special people that was just fun to be around. He, uh, some people have a little bit of, call it charisma if you want, but uh, they have that and everybody enjoyed being around Jeep. He, and he was, he was funny, but when basketball came, he was a great, great competitor. I remember one time before a game and I guess we were getting ready to play somebody and it was an important game and you know I'm doing my little speech to some of the guys and I say you know what we're not gonna we're not gonna lose at home I don't care who comes in we're not gonna lose at home and then he he corrects me and say well no we're not gonna lose at all and that's the kind of person he was and I mean it didn't make sense but the light went off in my head because he was right we shouldn't worry about losing at home we shouldn't worry about not losing it at all. So that was, that's just the kind of guy he was. That's just how confident he was. One and one. 2-12 to play in the third overtime. Look. I didn't think that one had a chance. Looked like it was long. Stayed in. Rolled around and dropped through. Jeep's parents are here to watch him play. I think uh, if you had pressed coach, particularly as he got into his retirement years, he would tell you that uh, Jeep was absolutely one of his favorites, uh, not only for obviously uh, his accomplishments on the floor, but just everything he stood for uh, as, as, as an individual. Um, uh, Jeep was just a, a fun, happy-go-lucky uh, kid who, uh, who lived his life that way.